Hey guys, welcome to Project Napalm. We got a, uh, it's been a while, but we've got a uh, new project today. It's going to be the Falcon 2.1 steering stabilizer for the Jeep Wrangler JL. Um, this is my first video that I haven't filmed myself. I've actually got a videographer, so we'll see. Hopefully it'll be better than the last ones. All right, so when you get it, you open the box up, and this is what you get. The instructions are laid out right here, actually attached to the box. It's pretty simple. Anybody can do this. Uh, Falcon shocks. I'm assuming this is hand built in West Jordan, Utah by CC and BS. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you, card. Uh, go to Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Rate your experience. What you get with most things. And stickers. And everybody knows stickers gives a Jeep 10 more horsepower. So that's what, 10, 20, 30, that's 50 more horsepower right there. Alright, comes with all the hardware you need, which actually isn't a lot because you reuse some of the OE hardware. If I'm not mistaken, the only thing that's in this is going to be your brackets. fingers off. Safety tip, always cut away from you, not towards you. Spacers. Spacer, two brackets, and your bolts that are, gonna, that are actually going to mount the uh, stabilizer. This is the non-adjustable non stabilizer. They actually have one exactly like this that's adjustable, and it's actually the one that's pictured in the instructions. You'll have an adjustment knob right here, which this one obviously doesn't have. That is, uh, that's tight. I'm gonna have to turn the uh, steering wheel to get that lined up. It's going to go up on there like that. Are we sure? Oh, yeah. Goes like that. There we go. All right. That's how that goes. All right. So, uh, the tools you're going to need the instructions say to remove the uh, disconnect the track bar from the axle side. Um, and the reason for it is to get to these bolts right here. Uh, it's kind of difficult with a ratchet and a socket, but you can do it with, I'm going to use a uh, ratcheting wrench. You just stick a box end wrench in there, pull it right off. They're not super tight. You can do it by hand. All right. So we've got our tools together. Let's go in here and get started. Now, because I'm old and I've used a ratchet far too many times, I invested in an impact and it is a wonderful tool. have to crank it up because the tie rod you can't lift these bolts all the way out because they actually hit the tie rod and this is one of the things that actually says in the instructions that I failed to remember all right 
as you can see, I turned the steering wheel. Now, you can get these bolts out. You're going to hang on to these because you're going to reuse them. This one. There we go. All right. So that's loose. Now, actually, you didn't even need to take that one off at all. It's just two bolts right here. All right. So at the other end, you got three bolts. You got two on top right here. They're 13 millimeter, and then there's one on the back side right here. So we can get those off. And like I said, I'm using a ratcheting wrench. You can get up under there pretty easy and break them loose. They're not all that tight. And we're going to reuse these as well. So make sure you hang on to them. As you can see, I did end up having to take the track bar loose right here because this bolt right here, when you try to back it out, it actually hits the uh, track bar. So I ended up having to take it loose, but it was no biggie. Like I said, it was a 22 millimeter socket. All right, and there is the stock Rubicon steering stabilizer off. All right, installing the Falcon stabilizer. Make sure you turn your bracket. It comes in the box like this. You have to turn it up like that. And so you'll just kind of stick it up here finger tight. Remember that meme? Well, for you folks that follow me on Instagram, I posted a meme that said, I don't always work on my Jeep, but when I do, I bleed and cuss. There's the proof. side finger tight now the next thing we're going to do is your upper and lower brackets all right so you take one of the carriage bolts that comes with the kit bracket on top spacer on the bottom it goes on top of your drag link The other one in there. It, uh, I had some difficulty because it looked to me as I was piecing this all together that nothing lined up correctly, and it does. All right, the key here the square part of the bolts, you really need to set them on top because if you get it set down in there like that, it's very difficult to get the other one in. So when you get the first one in, just kind of set it like that, and then you can put the second one in, and then they're both ready to go. And you get them in. And we put the bottoms on here. So you can see we got the bracket and the spacers on here. We got the bolts in, they're not tight. So the uh, stabilizer itself, you really need to uh, bear down on it to get it to collapse. 
and then you can see it's it's very very tight I actually collapsed it too far you get in there with the bracket and then you run your bolt through like that and then put your nut back on and this mod or this addition this upgrade is pretty much done now these bolts you're going to want to torque according to the instructions 59 foot pounds these three up here on the upper bracket on the uh, axle you're going to go to 30 foot pounds um, we'll put the track bar back in get everything buttoned up and we'll be done Track bar is back on. 18 millimeter. put my torque wrench on it later but it's all back together now so I actually like it because it sits up just a little bit higher giving you a little bit more ground clearance than the stock one the stock one was down a little bit lower not a whole lot but some all the gr more ground clearance you can get all the better so as you can see it wasn't that difficult an ordeal. Thanks to editing, you won't hear any of my cussing. Okay, so after the install yesterday, we put about 50 miles on the Jeep, and I could really tell a significant difference in the, uh, the stiffness of the steering wheel, and the steering response was a whole lot better. It's been windy around here the last couple of days, because everybody that drives a Jeep knows uh, it can be difficult driving in uh, windy conditions and uh, I definitely was not struggling as hard to keep it straight as I used to so uh, if you even if you have a stock Jeep that you never plan on taking off-road I really suggest buying one of these if it's not the Falcon one of the other ones the pass-through steering stabilizer this one was the Falcon uh, it Nexus EF um, it's worth the money to me um, I like it a lot. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to Project Napalm JL for more videos. And until then, keep the shiny side up. Jeep on.